Okay, now let's talk about this pet peeve about goodbye function that every Excel user experiences. Let's say, for example, if you say equal goodbye, and the first argument would be your grouping column. I'm going to group my output as the product itself. And then the second argument is your aggregating column, which is going to be quantity for me. And then the third argument is your aggregation function. I'm going to simply say sum, close parenthesis, and hit enter. So what the group by function does is that it groups the product and sums the respective quantity. For example, the ergonomics mouse was sold once here, and two of them sold on this date, and four of them on this date. That grand total adds up to be seven. But the problem here is that a rogue row get added at the bottom here, which is called total. Now the question becomes, how do you remove this total? Well, there's two ways to do it. The first way would be to use the group by function. The third argument actually specifies the header. We're not going to deal with that. We're going to leave it as default by leaving it blank. But the fourth argument, check this out. It says no total. If you put this to zero here and hit enter, you can see that the total at the bottom magically disappears. That's method number one. Now, for method number two, if you cannot edit the group by function for some odd reason, what you can do is you can encapsulate the group by function with a drop function, leaving the group by as the first argument. And the second argument, you can simply say minus one to remove the last row, close parenthesis and hit enter, and voila, the total at the bottom disappears.